So I'm making this video for my fiddle class and um, I played this reel for you guys at our very last class and you all said you really liked it. It's a really nice and simple reel. It's actually half as long as normal so the parts are only four measures which is nice. It means it's twice as fast to learn and it uses a pattern we're already really familiar with. So that is the D minor pentatonic scale, which we use that for Tamlin. And it's just the third and second fingers and the open strings. So practice this scale a couple times. Goes like this. Or from the bottom D up. And backwards. And up. This tune uses that scale. It's D, F, G, A, C, D. So second and third fingers and the open. Once you've got that scale, your left hand will be super simple. And then the right hand uses patterns we've done before. So I'll go through now and I'll just do the tune. Um, I'll stop and just make sure you're clear on all the slurs because that's where it's easy to get tripped up. And I'll break it down like that. So when we first come down that same scale like that. One, two, three, slur. Go. Again. Okay, and then the next part goes. Down slur. Go. Again. Together goes. D. Again, go. Cool. The next part starts on the C. And that's the ending of that first phrase. The slur is E, F, E. One more time. Up bow slur. And then we go with the C before it end on the D. Let's do that two more times. Ready, go. And again. All right, let's put all of that together. That's the first phrase, which is half of the A part. One and two and. The second part starts the same way, or the second phrase, which is the second half of the A part, starts the same way. Um, but I like to slur into it, so um, it's going to come from an open A, like that. That's kind of a tricky slur that connects the two parts. So this is the last note of the second measure, it's an A, and that's the slur.
again. One and two and. Okay, it's a tricky part. So I'll start right there and now uh, the ending. break that down so there's almost no slurs in that just very the one at the very end so from the open D practice that again and then once you can do that the slur is here EFE so from the D, and that's the end of the A part. part starts on a long F natural. So on the B part, I like to do a full roll. You can just hold it though. It's fine. The slur is EFA. And again. And again. With a long F. again and again okay then after that slur we come down so then we have this barriolage or string crossing business the note we're holding at the bottom of the string crossing is a C so you want to hold that C down and then it goes back and forth between the E string and that C And again. And again. Oops, I messed up there. It should stay on the second finger G. So E, G, A, G. Okay. So um, I like to stick a slur in the middle of that measure. So this is the second measure of the B part. That slur is totally optional, but I find it makes it more smooth. So the slur would be C A C. Up bow as usual. One more time. So with the slur from the open E, it goes. And again. And again. That can be pretty tricky with all the string crossings and the uh, kind of bouncing back and forth notes. Um, so take your time with that measure. I'll put it together now with that first measure from the long F. And again. And then the ending is pretty pretty straightforward, really just lots of scales. The last two measures sound like this. So the slurs in that in that third measure, it'll go like this. And then is the slur EFA. It's the same slur from the first measure of the B part. So with the scale. again so we're skipping the second finger just once but the rest of it's completely scale or stepping and again 
And then the last measure. The slur there is just A to D. And again. And then there's two notes at the very end of that measure, but before we get to those, let me put together the last two measures of the B part. So from the F sharp, and then those last two notes are really a pickup to either the uh, repeating the B part or going back to the A part. So if we're going to repeat the B part, we want to go up to to lead to that S. So we'll go up to the, the from the D like that and we'll go up. If you're repeating to the A part, you'll go down. So you don't go up to the E string. Okay, and if you have the sheet music, I'll link the sheet music down below in the description. So I sent this in an email to my students, but if you're just watching this YouTube video, you can check out my sheet music and I have all that, all those um, bowings written out. So let me just uh, play through really slowly and I'll just shout out the parts now. So here's the A part. Ready and super slow. That helped. I hope you enjoy this tune. It's super fun. And every Irish session I've been to, they know that tune. So it's a really commonly known one, a fun one to play with other people. And I hope you guys have fun with it. I'll see you in September and have a great summer. Peace.